Now do I have it right? Yeah. All right. All right, so protons lives in the middle of the atom inside the nucleus. Do we have that down? Okay. So protons um, is what, the number of protons is what makes up each element. The number of protons is what makes each element different. The number of protons is what makes each atom different. Okay? So the protons live in the nucleus, which is in the center of the atom, and the protons is what makes each element different. Each element, there's 118 elements, right? We learned that already, yes? Each of them have a different number of proteins. Protons, okay? Has everybody got that part? That makes each element different. If we look at the periodic table, the first element, hydrogen, has one proton. The second element, helium, has two protons. And the third element, lithium, has three protons. This goes on all the way up to the 108. All right, so if you, do you notice the pattern here? So like one, two protons, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you notice in a pattern of how they're on you. Now we notice there's stuff like this, and we'll talk all about that later when we get to that point on the periodic table. So, <coughs> hydrogen had how many how many protons? One. How many did uh, lift, uh, helium have? Two. I need a volunteer. Flight, come here. I want you to look up here, and I want you to find the element carbon. And its chemical symbol was a C, and tell me how many protons it has. Yeah, it's up over in that area. Its symbol is a C. Chemical symbol is just a capital C. Do you see a capital C on there anywhere? Up close to the top. In the purple. Yeah. So how many protons do you think it has? Huh? Two, so we went one, two, three, four, five. What's that number? Six. Six. It's also the atomic number. So the proton is not always in the right hand corner. Sometimes it depends on the periodic table. You'll find it down here. Okay? But the protons and the atomic number are the same. You can go sit down, thank you. Okay? Eighteenth element, Oganesson, which has, that's right, 118 protons in its nucleus. By the way, the number of protons in an atom is also called its atomic number. All right, so get that in your notes. The number of protons in an element is also called its atomic number. So if anybody ever says, well, what's the atomic number of carbon? You're going to like, oh, it has six protons, so the atomic number has to be six, right? So what would be the atomic number of helium, somebody? How many pro Two. Two. Yes. It has two proteins, right? Which you can see here on the periodic table of elements. Now, electrons are much smaller than protons. All right, electrons are much smaller than protons, and they zip around. They move very fast, fast-moving little things. So electrons are smaller than protons, and they zip around the protons. Oh, and go back up to your protons and fifth that it has a positive charge. I don't know why he doesn't tell us that at that point. Proton has a positive charge. You can use the plus sign to represent positive. Or you can write the word positive. All right, so protons have a positive um, charge. Electrons are smaller than protons, and they zip around the protons. Bless you. 
So everybody got that? I still have a few people writing. Do I need to repeat it again? So, and if protons have a positive charge, what do you think electrons have? Excuse me, I didn't hear you. Negative. So you can put down that electrons have a negative charge. And you can either write the word negative or you can use the minus sign. Okay? Just like on a battery. How do we know the difference between the positive end and the negative end of a battery? It has plus and minus signs on both the on whichever end is which, right? Huh? A negative has a negative. Uh, uh, electrons have a negative charge. And I'm not going to go over it today, but I'll go over my little sayings that helps you remember what they are. The atomic number yeah. of any element is the number of protons it has. The atomic number of any element is the number of protons. So the very last element on the element table has 118 protons, Oakley. So what would its atomic number be? Is the, set, is the number of protons an element has. Atomic number is the number of protons an element has. something called an electron cloud. All right, so the space in between the proton and what did, oh, electrons live in a shell. We need to put that down. Electrons live in a shell, S-H-E-L-L. -L. Electrons live in a shell. There is another terminology that they use for it, but we just use shell. So, you see this, this right in here? called the electron cloud. It kind of looks like a cloud, doesn't it? So that is between, you'll find the electron cloud between the nucleus and the shell, the first shell. And what creates that is the electrons moving so fast around the protons. It creates that cloud. Huh? That electron cloud is found between the nucleus and the shells, okay? And that cloud is created by the electrons moving so fast around the nucleus. And I can repeat it again if I need to. Okay, the electron cloud is between the nucleus and the, and the shells, and how it, what creates it is the fast movement of electrons. Called an electron cloud. Kind of looks like a cloud. <coughs> Sorry, you need to repeat it one more time. Electron yeah. cloud. Just the last part or the second part of it? What do you consider the last part of the second part? Mm -hmm. they, the cloud, the electron cloud is uh, <laughs> created by or made by the speed of electrons. How fast they're, they're going so fast around the nucleus that they create these electron clouds. Do I need to repeat it again or are we good? Around the atom. 
Electrons do this because they have a negative electrical charge, which always pulls towards the protons positive electron. All right, so electric electrons have a negative charge and they always pull to the positive protons charge. I don't know why he waits till now to tell us the protons are positive, but. So electrons have a negative charge and they always pull towards the positive protons. That's what this line right here is representing the force or the pull between the two. Between the positive protons and the negative electrons is called the electric. All right, so write down electrical force, and then I'll go back so you can get the definition. Electrical force is also part of our atoms, which has everything to do with electricity or electrons. constantly kind of like kind of like um, magnets how they're always if they're like sides they're always pulling on each other them together and if they're not like sides what happened <coughs> they fly apart right they don't like each other they fly apart all right everybody got this called the electric force <coughs> and it's always there so whenever a free electron gets close enough to a lonely proton, zap, they'll become part of the same atom. That's why all the elements have the same number of electrons and protons. All right, so we need to know that the number of electrons in an, in an element is the same number of protons. So they share, the, they both have the same number. So if carbon had six protons, how many electrons is common carbon going to have? Huh? Six. Okay. So electrons and protons have the same number. They equal each other number-wise. Close enough to a lonely proton. Zap. They'll become part of the same atom. That's why all the elements have the same number of electrons and protons. All right, all the elements. Now you notice he has stable the elements on here. Sometimes, sometimes our elements down here are not always stable. But anyway, <coughs> but you don't have to put stable. Just put elements. All the elements have the same number of electrons and protons. <coughs> and then you can put example. Carbon has six protons and six electrons. Okay, did you put did you put down that all elements have the same number of electrons and protons? And then put example or EX, for example. Put carbon. Carbon, we found out, we looked up here a while ago, and we found out that carbon has six protons, right? So therefore, uh, okay, how many electrons is it going to have? Six, right, because they have the same number. So you could put carbon, six protons, six electrons, <coughs> for your example. 
Are y'all feeling overwhelmed? Are you feeling like this is over your head? Always like. We'll go over it enough times, you'll get it down. We just started on it, so. So why do you know that the paper will help me? Neutrons. Well, without neutrons, the electric. All right, so now we're talking about neutrons. Hey, and he don't tell us this in this video, but neutrons <coughs> have a neutral charge. Yes. Yeah, you can. Neutrons. Neutrons have a negative, or not a negative, a neutral charge. That means they don't have a positive charge, they don't have a negative charge. They're neutral. They're Switzerland. You ever heard about Switzerland? During World War II, Switzerland chose not to pick sides. Um, so they were considered neutral. They didn't fight in the war. Um, there was a lot of animosity towards them back in those days. But, um, but they were neutral. They wouldn't pick either side. Okay? So nowadays, or back in my day, when uh, you when you had two friends and they were arguing about something and they asked you your opinion and you go, I'm not getting in the middle of that, right? Back in our day, we go, well, we're Switzerland, which means we're neutral. We're not getting in the middle of it, okay? So neutrons are neutral. Huh? Neutrons are neutral. Neutrons are neutral. N-E-U-T-R-A-L. N-E-U-N-E-U-T-R-A-L. Neutral. Means they have they have no charge. They're neutral. Okay, so you also need to know that uh, neutrons also live in the nucleus of the atom. In neutrons, neutrons also live in the nucleus of the atom. So they have a neutral charge. Another way to remember neutral charge is neutron, neutrons start with an N and neutral starts with an N. That might help you remember neutral charge also. All right, so everybody's got down that they have a neutral charge and that they live in the uter in a um, Nucleus, yes? Okay. Electric force will cause the positively charged protons to push each other out of the atom. But there's a stronger force that exists between neutrons and protons, which stops the protons from flying apart. So the neutrons have a job, and their job is to keep the protons in the nucleus. Okay? If we didn't have neutrons, and the strong force, which we talked more about in the eighth grade, um, in the nucleus, then the protons wouldn't stay in the nucleus and they'd fly all over the place. And they'd just be out there. Which means we would only have one element. Which means none of us would exist. Because which element are we going to have? Which element only has one proton? Hydrogen. So Earth would just be a bunch of hydrogen. And that's it. Okay? So, neutron's job is to hold the protons in the nucleus, <coughs> to keep them from flying out. And what makes them fly out is that uh, electrical force that we talked about. It may, it'll make them fly out if we don't have something to keep them in there. Any questions on that? Somebody write down 323, and we're going to go ahead and do this other thing. <laughs>
so that we have it done so you can be thinking about it. So I gave you a piece of paper, so go on your iPad and pull up a periodic table where you can look at one. I did have a few that I can hand out. You already got one pulled up? Pull it up on your iPad. If you can, pull it up on your iPad, because I don't have enough charts for everyone. But if you can't, pull it up on your Pull it up on your iPad. All right, so on the piece of paper that you have, remember it's a scrap piece of paper, so turn it over where there's no writing on it. You just have writing on both sides. How'd you like that up? All right, this is what you're going to do. You're going to write your first and last. Now, we do nothing until I tell you to start. So how are we going to find out who gets what element is? Because there's a good chance that five of you might pick the same element. I can't have all five people doing the same element in this classroom, okay? Because then that's, that would be less elements we learn something about. Now, in the other class, another student might have yours, but that's okay. So how you get to pick your element to see if you're going to get it or not is you're going to put your first and last name in the right-hand corner. Don't write until I say so. Everybody's going to start at the same time. Then you will write the name of your element on that paper and turn it in to me. And whoever gets theirs turned in the first is the one who gets the element that they put on there. If somebody else comes up with that element, then I have to tell them to go out and find another element. Yes? Do you want to put the abbreviation? I just want the name of the element. Do not want, and it's not called abbreviation, it's called the symbol. Okay? And we'll break that down more later. But I just want the name of it. All right. You may begin. I would not pick any that, that's down there in the hundreds. I would not pick any of those man-made ones. Bring it to me. Lock each other down. Dakota, why did you turn your sideways? Would you turn it down? Guys, I would really like y'all to venture.